Hi guys, it's Kim. I'm at the Natural Baby Company in Bozeman, Montana, and I am doing a little video to show all of you who've been asking about kind of getting a good fit with the Snap Closure Grovia Hybrid Shell. And um, the Snaps, probably the Snap Closure is one of our more popular um, products that we sell. I think the appeal is that it, they don't wear out. So Hook and Loop eventually will wear out. The downside is that I think with Hook and Loop, it's easier to get a more custom fit on your baby. But snaps can fit really, really well. And so I'm going to show you today just some of the really quick little tips um, that I do to get a good fit with this shell on a baby. And I'm using a little, I don't have a live baby today, so I'm using our weighted baby doll, which um, should, I guess, show well enough how it's supposed to fit. Uh, I thought we'd start with, I think a lot of the moms who've been asking have itty bitty babies, like newborns and they're using their snap shells. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just snap your rise down on a small baby. And um, I find for whatever reason, they're cut the same, but I always find that the snap shell fits a little bit bigger than the hook and loop. So you may find that the snap down, I don't like to base it on weight, but um, it's more of shape of baby, but generally they could be on the smallest rise setting for 13 to 15 pounds, sometimes more, depending on what you're putting inside of, of the diaper for absorbency. And what I have here is a couple, I've got a couple of options here. I have the um, the no prep soaker pad, <clears throat> but I also have the cotton, organic cotton soaker pad. And I just wanna show you really quick, on a really small baby, you can see the bulk difference. The no prep is gonna be thicker uh, than the organic cotton. And that is just the nature of microfiber. The no prep is much, much more absorbent than the organic cotton too. So uh, in general with diapers, the thicker the, um, the diaper or the more layers the diaper um, has, the more absorbency it's going to have. So I am going to show the cotton in here. So you would snap your soaker pad and this soaker pad is actually brand new. So it has not been shrunk down, but it still fits pretty darn well inside the shell. Usually after you do your prepping, your soaker pads, your stay dry or your organic cotton are going to shrink down and fit better inside of your shell. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure, I'm just imagining baby's belly button here, make sure the back of your diaper is level or higher than baby's belly button. And it's really, really important. I see it often, especially on small babies, where it gets started down kind of low or wiggles down in the, in the process of changing them kind of low. You want to make sure it's up nice and high. That's going to give you a really good fit. I like to pull the soaker pad up against baby's body first. I find that um, you know you really want to get that soaker pad flush up against baby's body so it has the opportunity to grab moisture or liquid um, as soon and as quickly as possible. And then I'll flip this up. So the next thing I like to do is make sure I have a, the rise fold pointed up, not pointed down. And I've shown this on some other videos too, and this is true of any one size diaper. When you point this rise fold down, you push this fold and this bulk down into this leg crease here and it makes kind of a wonky wrinkled fit. So flip it up and you'll get a much smoother fit that matches with baby's body. Okay, so on a snap diaper, different than hook and loop, the most important snap is always gonna be what I call the hip snap. It's the snap that's closest to baby's hip. I like to call this one, this is kind of the wing snap, but um, I call this, this is a hip snap. And so you are, this is going to dictate how tight this diaper is around baby's waist and also the leg circumference. So I like to pull this nice and snug, match it up with the closest snap. And I'll even leave this one open and come to the other side and do the same. Okay, so now you have these two floppy ears. These don't really do a ton other than fasten this, this wing down. So they don't, it doesn't matter as much that you get it on just the right snap. It, it Really, these hip snaps are the most important. So the next thing I would do is take this and try and find the closest snap. I'm gonna stretch a little bit on this one. And this one, I'm gonna, it's kind of landing a little wonky on this baby. And that's okay, because again, these first sna snaps that you've closed are the most important for fit. And there, you can see, get a nice good fit. Great around the legs, even this little tiny baby doll that has, I think, legs that are pretty indicative of what you would see on a newborn. Um, and then around the waist. There is, on this, if you had um, a really tiny baby that had a small waist, there is a crossover snap here. You can see the female snap. So what you would do is you would pull this over nice and snug.